G'day everyone, Corrupt Carney here, and welcome to this real life Minecraft episode where we are going to wash the car in the real life Minecraft. I had a comment from a subscriber a while ago saying, What is your third most uh, hated chore? And it would have to be washing the car. And that is my car there. It's a 2011 SV6 Holden Ute. Um, obviously, it's an Australian car. Now, so what do you need to actually wash the car? So, you need a chamois, which is on the right hand side. You need a washing cloth, and you need some car wash as well as a bucket. And that way you guys can wash your car. So obviously you want to put the car wash detergent into the bottom of the bucket before you start the car. Before you start washing the car, I should say. So you don't put too much into the bottom of the bucket. Just, to, just enough, probably two cupfuls. That's like that. And then you need to grab the hose and fill up the bucket. So the car wash suds comes up as you can see that it's, it's uh, bubbling quite quite nicely there and uh, it's, it doesn't take too long to wash a car it takes about 30 40 minutes so it's not too it's not too bad but uh, obviously if you want to or if you want to chamois it it takes a little bit longer which is a little bit of pain in the ass but overall it's not too bad at all so as you can see a bit of the suds have kind of <laughs> fallen over the side there not too bad not too bad at all uh, next thing you want to do is obviously wash down the car first with the hose before we start Actually, because you don't want to put any dry, um, you don't want to put any soapy water onto the car first, because obviously it. Uh, oh, you can see a little bit of a rainbow there in the camera. Absolutely fantastic. So wash down the side. Obviously, I'm not going to wash the whole car in this video. I'm just going to wash a little bit of the car. Otherwise, we'll be here for absolutely forever. But uh, what a beautiful day to wash the car too. Not a cloud in the sky. About 28 degrees. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not too sure that is in Fahrenheit. So as I grab the washcloth there, this one is a microfiber washcloth too, so it doesn't scratch the car. So let me try and put it on my hand there. It's quite difficult with uh, with one hand, and I'm holding a cam camera obviously. So yep, you just want to grab the washcloth, um, chuck it in the suddy water, soapy water, and then just wash away. Nice, nice even strokes there. Make sure you cover the whole car. Um, make sure you get into all the crevices to make sure that it's all clean because where I live in Australia it's quite dusty too because it gets quite dry so I need to wash the car pretty much every one to two weeks which is a little bit of a shame but you get that on the big jobs you get that on the big job so once I've finished so once I've obviously washed the car down you need to wash the rims as well as you can see my, my gunmetal grey rims look quite sick I uh, enjoy I enjoy them they're they're fantastic they look probably you guys are probably like oh it sucks crap car needs that car's shit but it's my baby so don't diss the car so once you've finished, uh, obviously, washing this, the, what, one part of the car, you want to grab the hose and wash it down with the water to get all the soapy suds off it. Um, I generally like to do one side of the car first, wash it down, and then use the chamois. So, just so, uh, uh, you know, if you start washing one side of the car, and you, it's, um, it, the, car, the water that you put on the car at the start actually dries off, and you actually can't, um, obviously, you need uh, water on the car to, to wash it. So if you do one side, and then you come all the way around, it's obviously dry especially in this weather too. So you want to grab the chamois after you've rinsed down the soapy water off the car. So you want to grab the chamois and use the chamois. You're supposed to actually put water on the chamois first, which I, I think I did before I actually started the video, which is, which is good, just to get it nice and moist before you start uh, before you start chamoising the car. And what that does, the chamois obviously gets the water off the car and makes it nice and shiny and leaves no water marks or uh, shmi marks from the water. So once you finish chamoising the car, you can see that that uh, window looks absolutely fantastic. You can see my ugly face in it. We can then look at that. It looks absolutely beautiful. You need to do the whole car. So once you finish the whole car, you can then grab the chamois and jump into the car. And I just like to give it give the car a bit of a clean every once in a while inside, probably every second or third wash, just to make sure the dust is uh, is uh, clean off the dash, off the steering wheel, off the little center console there with with the radio. Um, but basically, yeah, I, I, I enjoy you know washing the car sometimes, but it is a is it a hated chore. And obviously in Queensland, I have to do it all the time in Australia because it gets quite dusty. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm Crap Carney. Thank you for watching this real life Minecraft video where I'm washing the car, and I'll show you how to wash the car in the real life Minecraft. Um, if you want any, if you have any more comments in regards to other chores you want me to go through, make sure you put a comment below, and I will endeavour to get them done. But anyway, guys, I'm Crap Carney. Thank you for watching. Please like, favor, and subscribe, and I will see you in another real life Minecraft episode. Uh, this car is absolutely clean. Well, one side of the car is clean. I'm going to finish it off once I finish this uh, finish this video. But anyway, guys, I'm Crap Carnage. Please like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. So if you like that episode, we have two more episodes here in Real Life Minecraft. We've got How to Make a Fire on the left-hand side, and we have Driving Very, Very Fast in the Heavy Rain in the Real Life Minecraft. See you later.